Let me tell y'all something, man. I can't show it, but my sticker is pecked slap out right now. I mean, it's 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 pecking out out of a one to a ten. It's about a ninety-five right now. You hear me? I'm gonna try to get y'all some drone footage here in this video. I can here in a little bit. It's lunchtime. <laughs> We just spent till 11 o'clock to get the first round of trucks out. You see this ground right here? We got a rain last night and wet the ground some, but it will not dry up. The problem is the humidity, some days you'll have this here, the humidity is so high that no matter what you do, it will not dry and it's just like grease on this road and boy we have caught heck trying to get these trucks out of here today i mean they getting this is a real long hill right here they getting hung up right here and then the big hill out there it's it's really bad we've had to get we've had to pull every truck today out of here so far it has been painful that is for sure so you can see where that truck spun out a while ago. You can see some of the rubber on the rocks. But it says to us just grease. Right there. Same thing over here too. You can see where it, where it ripples it. And we got wood pile. We can't haul no up wood right now. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so here we go. We're just going to uh, lift off and kind of run around the track right quick on what we've cut. This one, particular one right here, we like about 15 acres as of when I filmed this right here. What we like to cut is what's on the right and what's on this ridge top. But this terrain is crazy for Mississippi. I mean, look at it across the horizon there, what, what it all looks like. I mean, most people would never believe that we have that kind of ground like this right here in Mississippi. So this is turned back north right here. You can see what's in the brown that we've cut. What's right there on the left is what we still like left to cut. This is a big SMZ that Derek's not quite finished with trimming up right there that I'm flying over now. And as we head further north, you can see what's on the right, the brown looking it's what we currently cut and what's the green lush it's what we cut in december of uh, 2018 and you can kind of see the difference of the regeneration growth now i get asked a lot do we replant or does it get replanted or anything like that yes it does uh, this right here i'm not usually it's planted the following fall but we're so late in the summer right now i'm not sure that this track will get planted this fall it will probably be the following fall, which don't hurt anything. But, I mean, you can look and you can just see the amount of timberland. I mean, it's just, we have an enormous amount of timberland here where we're at, Mississippi, Alabama area. So, you can look uh, straight ahead, kind of to the right. That's that 15 acres that Derek has left to cut. This track is basically a, uh, a perfect 80-acre block, kind of square uh, which is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, a half mile long by a quarter mile wide. You know, it's what they, what a lot of times they, they generally are because they, uh, a 40 is going to be a quarter by a quarter is what it's going to be. So I'm fixing to land the drone and, uh, you're going to get regular video and then you're going to get some more drone video here in just a little bit. So, uh, Hang tight, stay tuned. We were fueling up lunchtime right here. And uh, so like I said, there's gonna be uh, plenty more. So we'll be right back. Right here where we're at right now with the cutter there. There's 
going over there to cut that strip right through there it's not but just a few trees So I put that part in slow motion a while ago and then I put it in reverse too and I thought that was uh thought that was pretty cool just I've never done that part before or anything you see that black smoke that smoke coming off that's where a tree is rubbing on that disc and it's getting hot and it'll start smoking sometimes Derek will be out there cutting and man I'll look out there and my heart will basically just sink because I'll think that something's on fire you know which is usually just a sapling or a butt of a tree you know rubbing on a disc so how i'm gonna do this voice over here i'm gonna kind of pretend like i'm Derek in the cutter you know so you know Derek's cutting you know i'm, I'm gonna be kind of thinking out loud from him he's you know he's cutting right there and he's there's a smz right there where he just throwed that treetop down he's having to cut up again so he's got the SMZ there is dealing with. My loader's on the right hand side of the screen. Then you got a, a road right there he's dealing with too. And so you put all that stuff together and it, it makes a diff difficult cut. So that spot he's cutting goes up into a point, like a point on a triangle. And of course, I'm over there, I got the drone in there, and he probably knows I got the drone in there, and he's thinking, my God, Tim's got that freaking camera out again. Uh, He's filming. What? What's he filming? What's he gonna catch? What's What's going on? I just all I want to do is just get this corner cut out. Just let me do my thing, you know. So he's fighting these trees. So he cut that one. You can't throw it forward because you don't want it to hit in the creek because you you hit the creek and then the powers that be they don't they don't like that. They frown on that because you throw the tree in there, it tears up the canopy of the rest of the trees. And so you're, here's the underbrush. There's underbrush all over his head. He's thinking, dang, can all this underbrush just not go away? I'm tired of cutting this underbrush and all this stuff like that. I'm in this point right now. I just want to get done, get somewhere where I can run. This underbrush is driving me nuts. Would y'all, somebody please come up here and pull this underbrush off his head for me. I can't even see my head no more. Goodness gracious, a lie. Okay, we'll get this one on the ground. There it is. Is Tim, Tim still over there? Is he still filming me? He probably is. I can't see that stupid drone. Last time he got up close to me, I hit that drone like a baseball with a tree and I took it slap out of the air and that drone's in drone heaven now. And, uh, but see, what Derek don't realize is the drone I've got now, it's got a zoom on it. So I just zoomed back just then. So now I don't have to get quite as close to Derek as I used to do. So now, he can't hit me with a tree like he did last time. So Derek's thinking, where's that drone? Where's that drone? I'm going to see it. Hey, Derek. Then Derek looks around and he thinks, oh my God, here comes Chad. I've only got two drags ahead of him. Dang Chad, he's going to get both of those drags. I'm building my third drag. I can't, I can't get ahead of him. I can't get ahead of him. That dead gun 635, it just eats wood like candy. Look at him. He, I knew he was going to grab that drag. See, he's fixing the back that drag up on that drag. Tim's still filming. Tim's filming right now. Dad, gummit. Chad's eating up all my wood. Look at him. He's fixing to grab that whole drag right there. Oh, my God. I can't win. I can't win. My cell phone won't work. I'd like to look at something on my cell phone. I have no cell phone signal. That gum Tim up there in his loader. He's flying his drone. He's got a cell phone booster up there in his loader. He can stream or do anything, no matter what. Look at Chad. I can't even build my last pull. 
he's running away with these trees right here right now. About half, that's half a load of wood. He's taking it. He's going away. Now, about this time, it's when Derek's lip is rolled out right here. Because, I mean, I've been in the cutter, and I know what it feels like to have Chad running on you like that. It is, uh, it's just crazy. So then I decide, well, I'm going to roll down here and kind of buzz Chad a little bit. Usually, about this time right here is when Chad sees a drone. I usually get the single-finger salute right here at this point. But look at that. I mean, look at all the wood he's got in that pool right there. The 635, watch the bogeys walk through that. That's a drain right there, a cut out out of the drain. Look at them bogeys walk right there. Those bogeys walk independently of one another, so one can be down, the other one can be up. And Derek's sitting down there, he's looking up. It's Chad. He's across the hill with a half a load of wood. You know, Chad's grinning like a mule eating briars right now. And he's thinking, I, I got this. I got this. That's right. Chad's looking over. He said, Tim's filming. I ain't seen that drone, though. No. He's somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. He ain't no telling what he's doing. And Chad be janking on me all the time, too. I mean, he's just... See them bogeys? Watch them bogeys walk that road. Just... That's what makes that machine pull so well. So Kevin's heading toward... I mean, Kevin. Chad is heading toward Kevin right now. Kevin's over probably asleep. He's probably done caught, caught Chad. Let's see. I can't remember if he has or not, if he's running or not. Let's see. He's about to come in the frame. Let's see. And then I'll tell you what Kevin's thinking right here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Kevin's asleep. Look at him. He's doing a mannequin challenge right now. About that time, Chad's about to get close enough to Kevin to where Kevin can hear the 635 running. Kevin's like, oh my God, here comes Chad. Here he comes. I got to get up out of my slumberness right here. And, uh, okay. So, as, Chad, as Chad's pulling up in there, Kevin's sizing that drag up. He's thinking, okay, those three trees are going to be on top. Which one am I going to get yet? And then Kevin's thinking, Tim's over there filming. Tim's got that stupid camera. He's thinking the same thing Derek was thinking a while ago. But uh, where he's at, I have no idea. All right. Chad dropped the pool. Kevin's, Kevin's still asleep. He hadn't moved. He never heard him. Let's buzz Kevin right quick, y'all. Let's go. Is Kevin slumped over? No, I don't think. I think he's laid back just then. Let's go over here and check Derek out again. Kevin ain't going to run. He's He's gone. All right, so Derek's still cutting. Derek's over there fighting with this SMZ. The point of this road over here, he's thinking, will this day ever end? Oh, here comes Chad. Oh, no. I don't have, I don't even have a whole drag ahead of him. He's finna open that 14-foot grapple. Oh, no, here he comes right up there. Bites the whole thing. Oh, man. Appreciate y'all watching. So, hope you enjoyed all that drone footage there. The drone that I use is uh, made by DJI. I've had two of them now. And uh, if you buy anything other than a DJI, I think you're messing up. I think that, uh, my opinion, DJI is the best of all the drones, manufacturers that they are. I had a Phantom. And uh, the Phantom is good. It's a great, great drone. It's just too big. It's just absolutely too big. And to deal with the size of it, the uh, the Mavic, I have a Mavic Zoom. That's a Zoom right there. It is by far, it's not too small. It's not too big. It's very easy to transport, carry around with you. The Phantom is two foot by two foot square. And it's, like I said, it's just too big. The Mavic folds up into very small and it's not like a spark or one of them or anything where uh, it's too small because I think the on the when you get into the real small ones like the sparks and stuff like that made by DJI the wind affects them too much they can't they don't hover real well 
but the, I think the Mavic is kind of the best of all worlds involved. The, the hover on it is just mind-boggling how well it locks down, and it's so fast. It's, it's smaller than the Phantom, so it allows it to be really, really fast if you need to move real quick to do something to get out of the way, which cut filming around Derek sometimes I get up a little bit too close and that's what happened on my phantom that I had was uh, just got too close to him and he swatted it with a tree and killed it so it is dead it is in drone heaven now <laughs> and so as I get asked a lot about uh, you know different gear that I use and things like that I think I got the Mavic listed in my Amazon link too I believe so you can check out it down below and uh, go from there. But we're just waiting on trucks today. They're hung up at the mills, boy. Man, oh man, you're at the mercy of the mills in the logwoods, that is for sure. So anyhow, today, y'all be watching this video on Friday. Today is Thursday that I'm filming it. Time travel in a uh, YouTube world is uh, difficult as Alley Knight always says because a lot of times people think that what you're watching is being filmed right then while you're watching it and that's not necessarily the case and oh by the way Allie Knight is actually putting up a few videos again uh, I think I'm gonna take this weekend off maybe traveling a little bit I'm not sure yet I like to kind of fly by the seat of my pants. No plans. That's the way I like it. Spur of the moment, man. So I'm gonna cut this video off. It's probably pretty long now, I would imagine. And I'm not sure what I'll put out this weekend. We shall see. We shall see. Appreciate everybody who subscribed to Rotobex channel. They are over a thousand subscribers now, so that was really good. It took us, uh, started working on that in June. I think uh, Pierre had about 300 or something. So uh, June, so it's June and July, basically June and July, two months, got him to a thousand. So that was pretty good. Yeah, coming right down. Oh, you can actually feel the ground jar all the way up here where I'm at when that tree hit the ground right there. That's so cool. Get it, boy. It's fun to put these videos out for y'all to watch. I enjoy it. I enjoy putting them together. And doing it's just kind of a hobby of mine, you know? And then sharing. So please subscribe to me if y'all would. And if you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate that. I'm gonna do a, for those of y'all who are new, I'm right at 70,000. And when I hit 100,000, I'm gonna do a major giveaway I'm gonna let you spend the weekend with me uh, you'll come in uh, all you need to do is get here if you can get here I'm gonna take care of all your meals in your room hotel stay I'll put you up in Columbus I'll say I did that just grab it in the middle a lot of times you can pull it better in the middle because you get all the weight on you bring it up where you need to go and then drop it if you can get here on a Thursday night, that would be best. If you can't, Friday's fine. And here's why I say Thursday. I'll put you in a hotel Thursday night. You'll come to the woods with me Friday. And you can do two people. I don't care. Husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. I don't care. And uh, you'll come to the woods with me on Friday, on that Friday. You'll hang out in the woods with us all day. You'll get to meet everybody. And watch us work. 
and then we're gonna go out uh, Friday night we're also gonna hang out at my place I'll take you to our big shop our main shop our headquarters which I've rarely ever show I'll take you up there give you a tour there my place you'll get a tour there we'll whoo, I heard a snap boy he liked to get him and these trees are so dangerous to fool with we'll hang out at my shop we can play on the tractor we can also fire up the mini excavator we'll do a little digging if you want to do a little digging we can do whatever you want to uh that saturday we will uh just hang out all day like i said i'm gonna take care of all the meals breakfast lunch and dinner at night that saturday night we're gonna go out again have a good time and we'll take you to uh one of the nights out we're gonna go to hooks my favorite place in columbus that i film out a good bit and then uh sunday then all you gotta do is get up sunday morning and get your tail back home get ready to go back to work there uh for monday if you're a working type person <laughs> If you're retired or something, or you don't work, you can just sit there Monday and reminisce and wait for the video to publish. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, if you want to see some stuff with a chainsaw, you know, some, if you're a chainsaw person and you want to learn a little bit about a chainsaw, and we can do that too. tell y'all something man i can't show it but my sticker is pecked slap out right now i mean it's 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 pecking out out of a one to a ten it's about a 95 right now you hear me i'll catch y'all later later taters <laughs>